Welcome back everyone, it's Charlie. This is going to be my breakdown of that new preview that Marvel just dropped of the dark version of Captain America. Everyone was wondering what's going on with that. It's for the Falcon and Winter Soldier series, so we'll break it down. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. We're also doing that Infinity Saga box set giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave all your theories about Thunderbolt Ross and the Thunderbolts during Marvel Phase 4. So we'll just break this down top 7 style, starting with number 7. This is John Walker, US agent, in a couple different scenes that they were filming recently. So Marvel just released this. He was out publicly, so of course people were going to find out about it. Usually when they have to film outside with the actors, Marvel will wind up releasing stuff like this so that people can see it looking much better than the janky cell phone pics that usually wind up floating around. Like when we saw Tom Holland's new Spider-Man Far From Home Spider-Man suit. You get all that janky footage, then they put him on Jimmy Kimmel just to show everyone, yes, this is the new costume, this is what it's going to look like during the film. You saw all that crappy footage, now see what it looks like when it's nice and shiny. So everyone saw this and they're like, what's going on? Why does he have Captain America's shield? What are they doing during Falcon and Winter Soldier? First he's wearing his military dress uniform, then it seems like there's some short time jump and they're filming a slightly different scene with him in a version of Captain America's costume wielding cap shield after the events of Avengers Endgame. Real meta easter egg here, the person that's playing this character John Walker from the comics is actually named Wyatt Russell in real life he's the son of Kurt Russell who played Ego the Living Planet back during Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Most of you also probably noticed the costume easter egg from the comics. So the costume that he's wearing, which is made to be a version of a Captain America suit, is designed to look like his comic book US agent suit. So number six, when does he get the shield? Why does he get the shield? Brief plot synopsis of the series, because he is basically the government's version of Captain America after the events of Avengers Endgame. So think about Thunderbolt Ross being behind all this. You start with the Avengers Endgame ending where Captain America gives Falcon the shield, notice the notches in it, so he's obviously polished it a little bit in the years that he's been away in that alternate timeline with Peggy Carter. But then at some point during the events of Falcon and Winter Soldier, Thunderbolt Ross takes the shield away from Falcon because he did not sign the Sokovia Accords back during Captain America Civil War. Remember, Falcon was Team Cap the whole way. They all got thrown in the raft by Thunderbolt Ross as war criminals, then at the end of the movie, Captain America just broke them out of that prison. They all went on the run to become the secret Avengers from the comics on the DL. You have the events of Avengers Infinity War, the snap, then Avengers Endgame happens. And because Falcon was snapped, there was no need for Thunderbolt Ross or anybody that wasn't snapped to go after him and try and re-arrest him and throw him back in the raft. But just because the snap happened and they defeated Thanos doesn't mean that they all get this blanket pardon. So number five, at the end of Avengers Endgame, you have Thunderbolt Ross attending Iron Man's funeral with everyone else, the dust has settled, he comes back to them like the asshole that he is. So look, about that business with the Sokovia Accords, we're still gonna need you to sign those and play by our rules, the World Security Council. Pretty safe bet that Falcon's not gonna wanna do that just because he feels like Captain America didn't believe in that. And mentally, morally, he's kind of a what would Cap do person. So if Cap didn't believe in what Thunderbolt Ross was doing, didn't wanna sign the Accords, then neither is Falcon going to do that. So that's probably when the government and Thunderbolt Ross take the shield back from him. They kind of had a moment like that during Civil War II in the comics where a US agent comes for Falcon who's already picked up the shield and got his new Captain America costume with the wings. US agent tries to take the shield back from him for the government because technically, even though it kind of sucks, the US government is the one that owns Captain America's shield because it was developed by Howard Stark for the military and then given to Captain America by the military. So then you have this moment here where they want their version of Captain America to rally the public around and hold up as this sign the same way that they did during Captain America in World War II. Like, look at this symbol of peace. He's helping everyone. But it's basically the government stooge version of Captain America. The reason why I think of him as a darker version of Captain America is because when they introduced the John Walker character in the comics, he was introduced as this hardliner, sort of darkest timeline version of Captain America. But imagine the war crimes version of Captain America. Like this person did a lot of questionable things during these wars. Is he really the right person to give the shield to? He's not quite right in the head, so just because something goes dark, early theory, Baron Zemo eventually breaks out of prison because Baron Zemo is the main villain of the Falcon and Winter Soldier series. He takes advantage of the situation, and there's this worldwide plot. It's meant to be this global threat that Baron Zemo poses. 
So theory continues, that's when Falcon and Winter Soldier have to team up with Sharon Carter, who's sort of their person on the inside of the World Security Council working with Thunderbolt Ross. She's probably the person that finds out about what's going on with US Agent. Like, look, they're gonna take the shield back from you and give it to this asshole over here. They have to team up separately from Thunderbolt Ross to take down Baron Zemo and fix whatever problems US Agent Dark Captain America causes when he messes up. Then at the end of the series, I think the idea is, is that Thunderbolt Ross will finally allow Falcon to keep the shield and he gets his new costume at some point during that. This is what Bucky's new costume and Falcon's new costumes are going to look like, but I don't know when during the episodes they're going to get that. There'll be six episodes total of Falcon and Winter Soldier. All the Marvel Avengers Disney Plus series will be six episodes unless you hear otherwise. So the number four, if they're tying all this stuff and setting up big movie stuff, the stuff that happens at the end of Falcon and Winter Soldier to tease big changes in the MCU besides Falcon just getting to keep the shield is also Baron Zemo and US Agent then being recruited to the Thunderbolts by Thunderbolt Ross. But number three WTF, next big question. Clearly it looks like US Agent gets some sort of powers. Where does he get them from? Do they have another version of the Super Soldier Serum? It might wind up being another derivative of the Super Soldier Serum like Thunderbolt Ross gave to Emil Blonsky, AKA the Abomination during Incredible Hulk. Remember early in the movie when Blonsky got thrashed by the Hulk and they just kept pumping him full of that special derivative serum that they had developed. So just because no one's been able to perfectly replicate the super soldier serum that they gave to Captain America, there are other governments like the Black Widow program in the Red Room that developed derivatives to that. Really good example that we'll see during the Black Widow movie, sort of connecting Falcon and Winter Soldier to the flashbacks in Black Widow. The Red Guardian character, played by David Harbour, who's sort of like the Dragon Ball fusion of Thick Thor and Captain America, is basically the Soviet version of Captain America. He was given another derivative of the Super Soldier Serum that they gave to Captain America. Not the same thing, not quite as good, but still pretty good. <laughs> still fits. You got fat. It's mainly water. Remember during Captain America Civil War, that's also what they gave to all those other winter soldiers that they were creating that were in stasis. So the Soviets during the Cold War were able to steal and develop their own version of the super soldier serum, even though it's not quite the same thing. So everybody kind of has their own version of that. Number two, WTF, what's going on with the MCU Thunderbolts? Who would be on that team? Does this have some connection to the Black Widow movie post credit scene with some sort of Thunderbolt Ross Taskmaster storyline? Currently, there are a bunch of villains that could join the Thunderbolts that have been members of the team in the comics previously, but most likely ones would be Thunderbolt Ross, obviously being the dark Nick Fury of that team, giving them their marching orders. Baron Zemo leading the team. They're talking about how Falcon and Winter Soldier is supposed to set up Thunderbolts in the MCU, so it makes sense that Baron Zemo is the first person recruited to that team. Taskmaster from the Black Widow movie may be yelling to Belova from Black Widow if she doesn't wind up dying at the end of that movie. There's the ghost from Ant-Man and the Wasp, still has badass powers but much better control them after the events of that movie. The Winter Soldier, he's still wanted for war crimes and he hasn't been pardoned by the government yet. And maybe US Agent if they don't wind up killing him off at the end of Falcon and Winter Soldier. Then big number one WTF, future Thunderbolts Disney Plus series be six episodes just like all the other Disney Plus series in a template for how they develop their Young Avengers project eventually once they introduce enough characters. The MCU Thunderbolts team isn't going to be that huge, mostly four or five people probably at any given time and maybe at least one red shirt that they kill off during the first season of Thunderbolts whenever that winds up happening. Maybe, maybe outside chance for Thunderbolt Ross finally becoming Red Hulk during that series, but that also feels like a really, really big deal. They might save it for one of the movies. We'll probably get the full Falcon and Winter Soldier trailer at least by the summer, but it'll be the very first Avengers series on Disney+. Plus. Then they'll premiere WandaVision, then The Mandalorian Season 2, and then the other Disney Plus series next year. In related Marvel news, everyone click here to learn about the big Marvel Phase 4 Doctor Strange X-Men announcement and click here for my brand new Morbius trailer Sinister Six Easter Eggs video. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.